Hello and welcome to a video on functions brought to you by the Answer Series. There are various words that you need to remember. A function, for every x value there is only one y value. And then to find the y-intercept of any graph you make x equal to zero and to find the x-intercepts of any graph make y equal to zero. The domain of a graph are the possible x values and the range are the possible y values. With a straight line graph, the general equation is y equals mx plus c. If m is positive, the graph slopes up. If m is negative, the graph slopes down. With a parabola, there are two forms that they could give you of the general equation. The first one, y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, and the second, y equals a bracket x minus p all squared plus q. In both forms, if a is positive, the arms go up, and if a is negative, the arms go down. In the first form, to find the axis of symmetry, you use x equals minus b over 2a, and then you substitute that value into the original equation to get your y value at the turning point. In the second form, your bracket gives you the x value at the turning point, and the number after the bracket gives you the y value. With a hyperbola, the general equation is y equals a over x minus p plus q. If a is positive, the hyperbola is in the first and the third quadrants. If a is negative, it's in the second and the fourth quadrants. To get your asymptotes, what is under the fraction gives you the asymptote x equals p, and the number after the fraction gives you the asymptote y equals q. With the exponential, the general equation is y equals a times b to the x minus p plus q. If b is greater than 1, my exponential goes up. And if b lies between 0 and 1, it looks like that. My asymptotes come from the value there, so my asymptote is y equals q. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to try and draw four graphs. If you need to go back and have a look at various things, do so. But I want you to pause the video and try and draw these four graphs yourself before you carry on watching when I will explain them. Okay, the first graph is a parabola. To find your y-intercept, you make x zero and you get a y-intercept of minus eight. To find your x-intercept, you make y zero and you get that x equals four or minus two. To get your axis of symmetry, you use the formula x equals minus b over 2a, getting the b value and the a value from the original equation, and you get x is 1. You then substitute that value into the original equation to get that y is minus 9. So when we plot it on the graph, the y-intercept is minus 8, the x-intercepts are 4 and minus 2, and your turning point is 1 minus 9. To get the domain of the graph, x can be anything, so we write it as x an element of r, and to get the range of the graph, this is the lowest the graph will ever be. So the range of my graph is y greater than or equal to minus 9. With a second example, it's also a parabola. To find the y-intercept, make x zero, 
and you get that y is 6. To find the x-intercept, you make y 0, solve for x, and you get that x is minus 3, or 1. To find the turning point, the bracket gives you an x value of minus 1, and on the end, the 8 gives you the y value of 8. So to draw the graph, the y-intercept is 6, the x-intercepts are minus 3 and 1, and the turning point of that graph is minus 1, 8. The domain of the graph, x can be anything, so x is an element of r. The range of the graph, that's the highest my graph ever goes. So the most my y will ever be is 8, so the range of the graph is y less than or equal to 8. With a hyperbola, to get your asymptote, you take what's under the fraction, so x is equal to 3. Your next asymptote comes from there, so y is equal to minus 1. To find the y-intercept, make x 0, and you get your y-intercept. And to find your x-intercept, you make y 0 and solve. So when I draw it on the graph, there's my asymptote of x equals 3, there's y equals minus 1, and my intercepts minus 5 over 3 and 5. To get the domain of the graph, x can be anything except for at the asymptote. And we write it as x an element of r, x not equal to 3. In exactly the same way, my range can be anything except for minus 1. So we write it as y an element of r, y not equal to minus 1. With the exponential, to find your asymptote, you get it from there, so the asymptote is y equals minus 3. To find your y-intercept, you make x equal to 0, so your y-intercept is minus 2. To find your x-intercept, you make y equal to 0, so your x-value is minus 1. When I plot it on the graph, there's my asymptote, y equals minus 3, and my intercepts are minus 2 and minus 1. To find the domain of this graph, x can be anything, so x is an element of r. To find the range, my graph is entirely above the asymptote, so my range is y is greater than minus 3. Check out the video description below for practice questions from our study guides. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new episodes. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook to stay on top of the latest TAS news and launches. So that's it for now from The Answer Series, your key to exam success.